assalamu alaikum in this lecture we are going to find the transmission matrix of medium and long transmission line and by transmission matrix i mean that i'm going to find the a b c d constants so the first method that we are going to solve for the constant values is nominal t method and we already know that in nominal t method we have a capacitance at the center of the line and the impedance is divided into two parts so this is your impedance z by 2 this is your impedance z by 2 this is your admittance right so we will be starting from the very generic equations of this circuit sending and voltage vs is equal to v1 plus is into z by 2 so sending and voltage is equal to v1 plus is into z by 2 and v1 is equal to vr plus ir into z by 2 using this equation in the sending and voltage equation vs is equal to vr plus ir z by 2 plus is z by 2 we know that the equation for vs should be in terms of a v r plus b i r but we have is here in this equation so we want to remove this is from this equation so that we can have some equation of this sort right so we will use the other equations for instance ic is equal to y v1 so the current that is passing through the this capacitor is equal to y admittance into the voltage across the capacitor and v1 we know that equation so ic is equal to y vr plus ir z y by 2 plus ir and from the circuit we know that is is equal to ic plus ir this is your ic and is will become yvr plus ir z y by 2 plus ir and is is equal to yvr plus ir into z y by 2 plus 1 now we will put this is equation here in the vs equation and the final equation after solving you will get vs is equal to vr plus ir z by 2 y vr plus ir into z y by 2 plus 1 into z by 2 and the final equation will be vs is equal to vr into 1 plus y z by 2 plus ir into z plus y z square by 4 and from this equation we know that the term the constant with vr is a and with ir is b so a is equal to 1 plus y z by 2 y z by 2 and b is equal to z into 1 plus y z by 4 now for is we have already find the equation in terms of vr and ir so here c will be equal to y and d will be equal to 1 plus z y by 2 so these are the constants a d b and c that are representing the nominal t method for modeling of uh, medium transmission line now for the pi model again the capacitance is divided into two parts one at is placed at the sending end and one is placed at the receiving end of the transmission line and the impedance is represented by a single entity z here we have y by 2 y by 2 now starting again from the basic equations vs is equal to vr plus i l z so vs is equal to il z 
plus VR and IL is equal to IC1 plus IR this IL the current that is passing through the impedance is equal to IR plus IC1 and putting this current here we have Vs is equal to VR plus Y by 2 VRZ plus IRZ because this IC1 is actually the current through this capacitor so it can be written as VR into Y by 2 the admittance of this capacitor is Y by 2 so VR into Y by 2 into C so the Vs value will be VR into 1 plus Z Y by 2 plus IR Z so from this equation you can say that the value of A is 1 plus Z Y by 2 and the value of B is Z now for the sending and current IS is equal to IC2 plus I L IS is equal to IC2 plus IL and IC2 is equal to Y by 2 the admittance into Vs the voltage across that admittance plus the IL value we already know the value of IL this is equal to Y by 2 VR which is IC1 plus IR right and we also know the value of Vs you will put the equation of Vs here in this Vs value and you will get the final equation Is that is equal to Ir into 1 plus Zy by 2 plus Vr y1 plus yz by 4 so this is your D and this is your C the constant with Ir is D and the constant with VR is C so these are the constants for the Phi model similarly for the transmission line we have uh, these two equations that we solved by using the rigorous method and fortunately these equations are already in terms of VR and IR so we don't have to solve these equations any further and the terms with VR are A and C and the terms with IR are B and D so you can represent these constants for the long transmission line model lastly we have uh, one question that is actually asking you to use nominal T method and determine the A B C D constants as well as the sending and voltage and the regulation of the line right it is a three phase line and the load is 30 megawatt at voltage of 132 kilovolt frequency 50 Hertz and the power factor of 0.85 lagging the series impedance of a single conductor is 20 plus 52 J and the admittance is 315 into 10 raised to minus 6 Siemens right so what we have to find is a transmission matrix so starting from the transmission matrix we know that a is equal to D this is a T model so for T model the value is 1 plus yz by 2 so this is equal to 1 plus yz by 2 1 plus what is the impedance impedance is 20 plus 50 j 52 j and the admittance value is 315 into 10 raised to minus 6 divided by 2 and you will get the value 0 0.992 angle 0 0.18 degree for B the value is this Z into 1 plus Z Y by 4 and that will be equal to 20 plus 52 J into 1 plus 20 plus 52 J into 315 into 10 raised to minus 6 J divided by 2 after solving you will get the value of B that is equal to 55 point 5 angle 69 degree for C 
it is actually equal to admittance value which is given in the question that is 0 0.000315 angle 90 degree so now for the units for a and d there will be no unit this is a unit less quantity for b it will be ohms and for c it will be siemens right now we have to find the sending and voltage and we know that for a four port network vs will be equal to a v r plus b i r and here the v r value will be line to neutral so v r is equal to 132 into 10 raised to 3 divided by under root 3 7 6 2 1 0 volt and for i r it will be equal to p the power that has to be delivered or the load power v l cos theta 30 into 10 raised to 6 over under root 3 into 132 10 raised to 3 into 0.85 that is equal to 154 ampere and for the angle ir will be equal to 131 minus 81.62 j you will use the power factor value to calculate this current so after putting these values in the vs equation you will get the vs value that is equal to 82428 plus 5413 j now for the voltage regulation the formula is v no load minus v full load magnitude over v full load into 100 we know that v full load will be equal to vr and for v no load ir will be equal to 0 and when IR is equal to 0 here, so VR will be equal to VS over A. Right? So V no load is equal to VS over A. So this formula will be VS over A minus VR over VR into 100. And the values will be 82.6 divided by 0.992 minus 76.21 divided by 76.21 into 100 so the voltage regulation value will be equal to 9.25 percent so there is a drop of 9.25 percent across the transmission line so this is the way that you have to use in order to solve the question related to medium transmission line or the T method for solving the medium transmission line similarly for all the other questions that are related to the transmission matrix or the four port network representation of the transmission line you will use these constants for the transmission respective transmission line and you can easily find the sending and voltage and sending and current from there you can find anything that is required for example voltage regulation or transmission efficiency or anything else that you have to find for the network thank you